Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about soundproof windows. So let's back up a little bit and define some of our terminology first before we move forward. Soundproofing is a term that's misused a lot. I like to use the term sound management. I think it's more appropriate. Proofing, nah, we don't really proof anything. We don't really stop everything 100%. We manage, okay? That's the goal. Lowering the noise levels to a point where they don't bother us in the environment that we're in. So soundproofing windows is kind of a bad choice of, of adjectives and nouns together. Windows we get, we have to have, but soundproofing is not something that really applies to windows. We can reduce noise using windows and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now how do we reduce noise? The first thing we have to do when we reduce noise is to measure it. We have to know what we're fighting. We have to know how strong it is. We have to know at what frequency it's at. All that has to be taken into consideration. Measure, measure, measure. There's an old thing in carpentry that says measure twice, cut once. Well, with noise, we measure three times. And then we design to deal with the frequency and amplitude of the noise. So let's talk about our window. Most of the windows you guys are interested in are these studio windows between the control room, the vocal room, the live room, so you can interact with the artists and the talent, you know, talk to them, uh, give them uh, critiques and things, yell at them, whatever you want to do. But the bottom line here with soundproof windows, we have to know what kind of noise the artists and the talent are creating so that we can design the appropriate window to block that noise. So we have to measure. Once we measure and get that number, that frequency and amplitude number, then we can design our window. What are the areas in the window that we're going to use? Thickness of the glass, very important. What kind of glass are we going to use? We're going to use safety glass, same kind of glass that's in your car. That glass, if you get in an accident, won't shatter. The pieces won't shatter apart. Well, they will if it's, you know, pretty impactful accident, but it's designed with layers of plastic between the layers of glass. That's what makes it safety glass. So it sticks to the plastic instead of flying all over everywhere. So we're going to use safety glass in our window inside our control room. We're going to use a certain thickness of that safety glass. Now that thickness all depends on the frequency and amplitude of the noise measurements we've taken. So very critical to have the noise measurements. Noise measurements are a pain. I, I understand that. They're hard to do. They take time to do, but they're worth it because they help us with the materials that we have to use in building. If we have less noise, we need less materials, less cost. So it all works together. Airspace between the glass. We're going to use two pieces of glass in our window with an airspace between us. How big of an airspace, how thick the glass is, depends on frequency and amplitude of noise. So all those variables are related, and we have to get those together. The depth of the cavity also. If we have a lot of low frequency energy that we have to manage, if we have a bass player in the live room thumping on his bass, we have a drummer using the kick drum, we don't want it to bleed into the control room, we're going to use a thicker airspace between them. And that all has to be calculated, okay? So soundproof windows, a whole combination of variables that we have to consider. Thickness of the glass, airspace between them, and then what we do inside of them is we line the cavity with foam to control the resonance inside that window, because that window is a cavity, and cavities resonate. So we have to make sure that the res resignations in those cavities don't bother us. Angle is very critical, especially in control rooms for soundproof windows, because we don't want to create reflections at the listening and monitoring position, which will give the engineer a headache and a nightmare down the road, because he'll be hearing things that really aren't in the mix. So soundproof windows, measure, measure, measure. Then we design the thickness of the glass, the airspace between them, and what's our other dimension? The depth. Don't forget that. Hope that helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.